Well, I want to talk to you about what happened in United Airlines. Not so much the event, which will, I will recap, but what the reaction to it in the alt-right leads me to soapbox. I want to soapbox about something that I've already talked about in passing, but now I feel like this is a perfect opportunity for me to get on it. Just like the last video's incident was a perfect opportunity for me to get on something. But what had happened was United Airlines overbooked a flight. There were four more people than they could have and fit in. And overbooking is a common thing that they do. But regardless, overbooking is a serious issue and they asked four people to volunteer to leave and come in the next day and no one volunteered to leave so they had to rely on a computer's random number generator to get four people to leave one of those is was an Asian doctor and he refused to leave because he had to get on that flight to help somebody and of course we know later on that he was also getting some ass but whatever well what happened was this guy eventually got his ass beat and he was shook like his face was fucked up with blood and he was repeatedly saying catatonically kill me and of course the reaction for this was outrage morally United Airlines lost one billion which isn't gonna kill them but the reaction on the left was as expected and the way beside the all right but the alt light did exactly what I'd expected them to do and later on tonight I see that it's at the exact magnitude that I expected just slightly less thankfully maybe 40 percent less they went on a authoritarian free market capitalist shell mode for an international corporation and this is not the first time that they did it and it's not going to be the last time they did it you see the alt light has a tendency to not fully let go of some of its libertarian tendencies and because of that they will show for these companies when they do and cap meaning things or and cap meme things I added the e at the end grammatically not as a mispronunciation but I'll tell you another time they did this thing last year Facebook started zucking people OD I got a warning post block and a post removal within that year at a couple of months like maybe February to through April so I was getting fucked up <laughs> and the reaction to the more specific terms of service and the restrictions that they started putting on people the left was salty the way beside the all right was salty because they knew the repercussions and ramifications and what would happen from that. But the alt light went on international capitalist shill mode. The DFP made a post about how this is Facebook's site, and if you don't like how they do things, go to another site. They have the right to do this. And then they got post blocked or some kind of zucking. And then they started complaining about left-wing censorship. When a lot of that was hypocrisy on they dumbasses. And here we are with them doing the same shit again. I get that this is the same side of the alt-right that likes Hans Hermann Hoppe, physical removal, Pinochet's... Uh, 
throwing people off of helicopters and stuff. But come on. Understand that, yes, I understand that they understand that these people are not on our side. But there is a difference between the violence a government will do under a fascist system and this fash stuff that they talk about. I'm fash, which means that they're free market edgelords and authoritarians. You guys got to have some standards. What happened here, I'm not going to say it's a black and white situation where they were 100% in the wrong. But you'd be a douche to defend this. What happened here was, let me explain this. Yes, at some point they have to forcibly remove people. You cannot have an overbooked flight with mad heads and not enough seats. But you can't just fuck people up like that. <laughs> Repeatedly. Like, it wasn't just this. And I understand there's some shilling going on because a lot of anonymous posters on these message board sites like Reddit and 4chan have been clearly paid to share this OD, but still, to defend this, that's knee jerk. That's you taking the bait and that's you essentially letting the normie side of the internet think, I, these are the type of group where I can just project whatever I don't like into them. This is the same kind of criticism that socks like me get all the time. And I'm not feeling it. Now, you can tell me how this is a lighter shade of gray than what I think it is on the comments. We can discuss this, and I can be educated. But other than that, I've essentially let my soapbox out. So this has been Mr. Marcus 7. Suck my dick.